everybody knows that better than our next speaker, who lived under tyranny in Czechoslovakia. Lenka Koloma is a fearless freedom fighter who escaped communism and knows intimately what government tyranny is all about. Sometimes it takes people coming to America to remind us about the gift that we have and what it takes to defend that gift. Lenka is the founder of FTBAgency.com, which is We the People Organizing to Defend Our Constitutional Republic. You're in for a real treat to hear somebody that knows what living under tyranny is all about. She's here to remind us about that, and she's here to encourage us to endure for the fight. Please give a warm Southern California wild protest welcome to Linka.
And let me tell you, this is the execution phase of the globalists that have been strategically attacking our nation, not only here, but globally, through our food, through our water supply, through our air, through our indoctrination in schools, on every possible level. Unfortunately also, not too many Americans know that we've been living under this tyranny for a very long time. It is not just this past year. Uh, the act of 1871 was an act where Congress committed treason and sold your interest to the international bankers that have been ruling this nation and fooling us since then by establishing a corporation called the United States of America in all capital letters. And everyone and single of you has been literally kidnapped by this fraudulent corporation. That is why all the crimes that we are seeing are possible. So, my dear friends, we are dealing with very critical situation. Let me start with the bad news first. Our freedom has been under attack from every possible level, but the wonderful news is that last year did a great job for us. It made it all reveal itself. For those who want to see the truth, because let me tell you, only truth can set us free. Because when we are willing to see the truth, we can start realizing what's been going on. And this is exactly why I immigrated here. Because let me tell you, everything happens for a divine reason and everything has a divine timing. And this is why also, when I came here, I had to take an oath. I had to take an oath that I will uphold, support, and defend the Constitution from all enemies. legislative power in any form 
to the executive and judicial branches. So everything that we are seeing, all these mandates, edicts, and suggestions are just that. And there is a reason why every public official, every public servant, please remember that term very dearly, take it to your heart, public servant. These people work for us, all right? Let's set the, set the record straight. We employ them, so they rather work for us. And so there is a reason why they take an oath, same like I did, because they have the same duty to uphold, protect, and defend the Constitution from all enemies, including obviously themselves. So all we have to do, we have to hold them and they can no longer hold that office and they have to vacate that office they also forfeit their salary and their pension and if they don't vacate peacefully and on their own that's what we have sheriffs for sheriffs